Hello, this is Lauren, we're African Life, and we're at the OJ Club. With us today, we have none other than Timberley. Sabona, Timberley. Sabona, Lauren. Unjani. Ah, Niapila. Wow, <laughs> African one, African <laughs> Life 101, <laughs> language lesson. How are you feeling tonight? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, this is the sixth show mm -hmm. of my tour, and it was really lovely. The people are so warm yeah. and welcoming, and it's my first time in Vienna, and I had a really good time. No, it's great actually having you here. Thank and. You. What was the vibe like with the audience it after was, your wonderful performance? It was great. Um, as I said before, it's very warm and welcoming and the people are, they're so happy, yes. you know, to have me here. Mm -hmm. And I feel, I feel their positive energy yeah. and it makes me very happy to perform for them. I love all my fans, mm -hmm. but especially when you can know when people really put an extra effort for you. Yeah. It, you know, it's really special. So, you know, I'm loving Austria right now. That's great. That's really great. And in terms of actually being in such a male-dominated industry, you know, that's dance hall, yeah. what does it feel like being one of those few and one of those predominant females who's actually participating and actually taken on this particular genre of music? Well, it's definitely a blessing from God for sure, because very few um, get um, a hit song mm -hmm. like I have. Yes. Um, Big Up World 21 mm -hmm. Productions anywhere, Conley, Suku, Rumblood, Mean Dog, because War 21 has been behind me from 2006. Yeah. Um, they gave me my hit song, Bubble Like Soup. And, you know, right now we represent for the Bada Bada Gang. Mm -hmm. You're going to hear more about that, the Bada Bada Gang. Yeah, click, click, clack, you know. <laughs> so it's it's great. It's When you have support, mm -hmm. it's not as difficult yeah. as when you are alone. Yeah. So um, I have to give thanks for all the support that I have. My fans that never forget about me. Yeah. Um, even when I take a break, because I go to school a lot. Yeah. And even when I take a break, they still say, where is Timberly? We miss her. We want to hear her. And that's why I can never stop. Well, there's one song that's actually caught my attention. I yes. think that's Backdoor Delivery. Yes. <laughs> I, I've taken time out, you know, uh, listening to your music. And that's one of the songs that really, really caught my attention. And I was like, wow, okay. What was the inspiration behind the song? Well... Conley from War 21, that was his idea. And he called me from out of my sleep early in the morning. He says, Timberly, I have a song for you. You have to record it now. And I said, okay. You know, so I drive to the studio and I just recorded it. And it's just about, it's about not taking any backdoor deals. Mm -hmm. So, Whatever you're doing should be straightforward and no side deals, no back deals, no nothing. Just do it straightforward and you'll be okay. So me say, you know, we're not talking about door delivery, no, that's a scam. My voice wasn't going at DJ the life out of that song. I love that song so much. Same yeah. Here. Yeah. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I love it that was song. Just it was just one of those tracks that actually, you know, I'd been through quite a few of your tracks stemming from around about 2007. Yes. But when I listened to Backdoors, like from the <laughs> onset of, of the actual track, it was like, okay, yeah, 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 I'm feeling this one. And, you know, I just flowed with it all the way. Thank you. Yeah, so it, it's a really good track. And I'm sure it's reached a very, very big audience yes, out definitely. there. <laughs> people, a lot of people, I get um, most of my dub plates mm -hmm. are backdoor delivery and the, the bad man version that yeah. I have to Bubba Light Soup, mm -hmm. which is called Gunny Gunny. Okay. Um, always sound, sound, um, sound men and sound systems will call me and say, I want a dub for that. So I know it's a good song. That's great. So, um, in terms of this dance hall culture, uh, do you see yourself doing a show in Africa particularly? I would love to go to Africa. I haven't been called to Africa yet, but a lot of African people tweet me yeah. and they follow me on Instagram. So I'm, I know it's near. Yeah. I just don't know when. 
I'm I think they're waiting for that song. Yeah. So I'm gonna work really hard to get that song to them so that they can say, Okay, we send you money. You come <laughs> you come with us. You know? Um, so I'm looking forward to it, but I know I have my fans in Africa. Yeah. Yeah, for that's, sure. That's really great to hear from your side. And you know, being in this particularly uh, this particular genre genre of music, um, and you're a female. What 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 would your message be to all those up and coming, you know, artists, in terms of their careers and the difficulties in in making that breakthrough? I would have to say, um, be sure that this is what you want, because it's it is a business. And it's not only about popularity, it's about knowing what you're doing, knowing the market that you're trying to appeal to. Um, take the time to decide what direction you want to go in and stick to that and try and just be persistent. It doesn't happen overnight. You have to be patient and you have to be very committed and just keep your eyes open and keep your team close to you pick few people keep them close and just trod through and you'll definitely make it good lyrics good melody good beat people love to dance people like real music just stick to that and you you should be okay um, what should we be expecting from Timberley in future? <laughs> well, I've fallen in love with trap music, mm -hmm. which I don't know if you're familiar with trap music, but I have a track on um, a Major Lazer's album. Yeah. Um, and Major Lazer is a lot of trap, like, like if you listen to Busy Signal, Boom Aye, yeah. and all of that, like, it's high energy. Mm -hmm. You know, like techno music, I've yeah. fallen in love with that. Yeah. So I plan on doing more of that music. Mm -hmm. um, to f I love Europe, and I want to appeal to that. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. And definitely dance hall. So trap and dance hall. And yeah, and that's about it. I'm growing, and the more I grow and the more I travel, is the more open my eyes get and the more I'm like, Ooh, new things to play with you know so you can expect anything from me yeah. really because you know we're multi-talented and mm -hmm. whatever sits good with us and we just do it yeah, that's yeah. great so we'll definitely be looking forward to something amazing from you yes, um you. what would your message be to the youth out there in this day and age where times are quite hard you know youth is, our youths are going through a, you know, struggling times per se, what would your message of inspiration to them be? Um, learn, try and learn how to make money work for you and not work for money. Don't know if you can really think about that. Um, but don't be a slave to working for money, try and make your money work for you. So whatever you're doing, whatever money you make, try and put it back into what you're doing so that it will grow and try not to stay um, on the same level all the time. Um, and just be, just be open-minded and have faith in God because no matter what happens, there is one ruler, and it might be Selassie, Ja, whoever, God, whatever. Whoever your ruler is, there's one ruler, and you have to have faith in that. And just do what, do what is right, even in desperate times. Because death is, you will die. I don't mean to sound morbid, but it's the reality of life. And you have one life. Right now, I do this interview. None of the words coming out of my mouth, I can't take them back. So you're only moving forward. So always keep that in mind and step carefully. And, and that's it. Just be true to yourself. 
Decide what you want to do and stick to it and be true to yourself. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. Nobody can make you do it. Don't do it. If you want to do it, do it with 100% and you're good to go. In life, there's always a problem, cause and solution. So yes. we should always step you forward. Always, you always have a choice. Don't let anybody, you always have a choice. Always, always, yes or no. It's as simple as that. Everything comes with consequences. Well, I'd like to say thank you very much for that very inspiring message to the youth out there. Timberly, thank you for affording us this opportunity to interview you. It was wonderful seeing you perform live. And I'm probably, I'm looking forward to seeing you perform once again. Thank you. Hopefully, perhaps in Africa or South Africa yes. particularly. And I'll be coming back to <laughs> Austria definitely within another year. For sure. For sure. Thank you. Thank you. African life and we're out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>